Well, of course, I've covered here on my channel, Giorgio Maloney, uh, going from pretty much nowhere to becoming the Italian Prime Minister. In something, I guess, of a honeymoon period, though, it's becoming a pretty long honeymoon. Just seen more elections in Italy, local elections this time. Basically, with Maloney's centre-right coalition continuing to clean up. In fact, it was described in Italy as a centre-right tsunami. So what's ended up happening uh, in these latest Italian results, as you see, the centre-left really only with one big win, and even that was by 50.5%. And you've got a left-leaning daily in Italy there saying that the right wins everywhere, which I think pretty much sums it up. And then subsequently, you've seen Maloney herself, the Italian PM, come out and basically declare that there are no more left-wing strongholds left in the whole of Italy. It seems winning pretty much uh, everywhere, including places that were long uh, governed by the centre-left, by the left. And you've got Maloney quoted there as saying, we have obtained good results and some victories that could be defined as historic, as in Ancona. And you see what happened in Ancona there, the centre-right coalition got 51.7% of the vote and the centre-left 483 again for the centre-right. With Antonio Tajani there, Italy's foreign minister, saying beyond all expectations, the coalition has shown itself to be united and credible. So another massive victory uh, for the coalition in Italy uh, that Giorgia Maloney leads. We've seen warnings from the Italians about the scale of illegal immigration that could be to come. And it seems Rishi Sunak keen to hail the shared values between his government and those of Maloney's but a pretty emphatic set of election results in Italy. Again, as we've recently seen, uh, Conservatives winning in the likes of Greece and Spain, continuing that trend. But let me know what you make of all of that in the comments uh, below, guys. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.